Hi there, I'm Kerry Smith from Nature Publishing Group. In this screencast, I'll be talking about our new desktop widgets for searching nature.com. First of all, what are widgets? Widgets are fun mini applications which run in the sidelines on your computer and focus on handling one single task. They're designed to let you get on with your normal activities while being ready for you at a moment's notice. This is the new nature.com search widget, which we've developed for searching our database of over half a million research articles and news items. I'm using it on a Mac for this screencast, but you can also get to it on a PC using Yahoo widgets. OK, so let's start with something simple. Say I want to search for articles about dinosaurs. All I need to do is type my query into the widget like so, and press return to run the search. There we go. As you can see, my search results come back listed in an easy-to-read, itemised format, which you can browse through using the scroll bar here. If what you're looking for isn't on the page, you can also use the arrows up here to page back and forth through the full set of results. All of the results returned by the widget link through to the corresponding article on nature.com, so to read one of the articles listed in the results or get more information about it, you just need to click on the title of the article and it will open up in your web browser like so. So that's how you search for articles on any general subject. But what if you need to be more exact? For example, say I'm looking for a particular article on climate change that I read in Nature Reports, but I can't remember the title of it now and I can't seem to find it doing keyword searches alone. What I can do in this case is open up the fielded search form by clicking on this button here. On this form, not only can you search keywords using any words from the full text of the article, but you can also search using more specific details such as title, author, date, volume, issue, or page number. Better yet, if you know the DOI of the article you're after, you can just enter that. Unfortunately, I don't know the DOI for this article, but I do remember the author's name was something Smith, so I'll put that in here. And the article must have been fairly recent, published in the last year or two, so I'll add that date range in here, and here. Let's see how we go with that. Hmm, this isn't looking too good. I can see up here that it's found almost 400 articles that match my query. That's a few too many for me to want to look through. I'll need to narrow my search down a bit more, so let's go back to the search form. Notice down here there's a little info button you can click to change the settings of the widget. You can use this to choose which journals you're searching. Let's do that now. Here I can either select all journals or else check off individually just those that I'm interested in searching. So in this case, I'll scroll down the list until I find the journal I'm looking for, Nature Reports Climate Change, and check that journal. Then when I'm finished I just have to click Done down here, and my preferences will be remembered. OK, let's try that now. Aha! That's the one I was after! By the way, in case you were wondering how this widget works, it's using the new nature.com open search service which we've recently released to make things like this widget possible. This service uses open technologies to distribute access to our search so that your application and our search engine can talk directly to each other. You can even see the actual search that is sent to nature.com open search by peeking behind the form here. But that's enough of that technical stuff. So that was just a quick overview of the nature.com search widget. Have fun using the new tool. For more information, visit our widgets page at nature.com slash widgets.